What's the latest? The location's about two minutes up there, sir, and we're about 40 percent done. taking over. On what authority? Executive order from the department. Come on, guys. We're out of here. gonna live in your big shadow. <gasps> Give me that. You on vacation, Toadie. <laughs> Who's that? You're gonna kill me. I don't know. I mean, can't you just call in sick? Come on, Jess. This is the Air Force. So, did they tell you what it's all about? Top secret. So much for our vacation. She's disappointed. So am I. I mean, how long has she been planning this? Now it's just not going to happen. Knock, knock. I just spoke to Gary. Sounds like an important mission. I should be back by tomorrow. Honey. Look, I'll quit the Air Force after this mission. No, um, I'll go and work as an exotic dancer. <laughs> I have the uniform and everything. Uniform? This uniform? Yeah. Get dressed. I'll drive you to the airport. We'll see you, Top Gun. Bye. Bye. Lost chair. What the hell's the matter with Chang? Top secret. Finally, 
a large amount of wealth stolen from the Philippine people can be returned to them. The flying will be transported to Manila and turned over to the Central Bank of the Philippines to be recorded as recovered property of the people of the Philippines. This is Maria Pineda reporting live from Magtan Air Base, where a spectacular find of gold is now being loaded into a transport flight. How are you doing? Now it's time to turn off all electronic devices. That goes for Captain 2. Yes, sir. Colonel Diaz, can you tell us more about this? The AFP will work with the uh, task force. We've selected a transport team, the 222nd Airlift Wing of Cebu, to escort the gold to Manila, where custody will be transferred to the uh, Banco Central. You know, one of those little gold bars will kind of come in handy now. I know. Flight 593 Delta Echo, proceed left for South Departure. You are cleared for takeoff. Roger that. Hey, sir, you better take a look at this. What's so, up? What's going on? It's going off course. Air Force 3633, please come in. Air Force 3633, please come in. And that was a special request for my old fishing buddy. I don't know about you guys, but it sure does wake up those old memories for me. Simple things. Cash, simple. No cash. Bubble.
Awake her? No, no, no. Let her sleep. We've been up all night. You've been really kind. No problem. You tried to call soldier people? They won't tell us anything. They think Amy and poor friends don't go? Listen, if you don't pay me cash, I take off. What are they doing here? It's Amy Sanchez. Yes. You're Captain Del Cruz's girlfriend, right? When was the last time you saw him? Yesterday morning, she dropped him off at the airbase. Miss Sanchez, you haven't seen him since then? Miss Sanchez. You, you haven't found him? We don't know where he is. You sure you haven't seen him? No, I haven't. Has he contacted you? No, do you know what happened to him? Did you find the plane? Millions and gold missing, Miss Sanchez. What are you implying? Where was it when it went off radar? I can't tell you that. Why not? I have a right to Ms. know. Miss Sanchez, we are aware of your financial hardships. What are you trying to say? That Tony took the gold? He'd never do that. He spent his whole life in the military. But we're asking you not to leave town. Do you have an arrest warrant? Because if you don't, then I suggest that you leave. How about it, Colonel Diaz? Have you got a warrant? At the moment, all we got from Miss Sanchez is questions. What about her boyfriend? Is he a suspect? We can't exclude anybody right now. Have you found the gold yet? No, we have not found it. We're just trying to see if the military's involved. You ought to be out searching for him. He could be injured or even dead, and you question his loyalty? We'll be in touch, Miss Sanchez. He had nothing to do with this. I'll prove it. I'm gonna find out what happened to Tony, because if I don't, nobody will. A defiant Miss Amy Sanchez, defending her missing point. That's my girl. I'm proud of you, honey, but how are we gonna get our boat back? Well, maybe I can help. Frank. No, don't worry about it. Just do me one favor, okay? Be careful. I don't want you guys stepping on anybody's toes. How much is there? Not enough to square us with Chang. I need to meet with someone. I need your help, John. They won't tell me anything. Not too surprising, considering the shot you took at them today. You know this stuff. How do I start? Where do I go? I can't do anything for you, and you know that. Just point me in the right direction. I always had the greatest respect for Tony. He was a great guy. I'm sorry. I shouldn't put it that way. Look, this is a delicate matter. The armed forces has issued a strict gag order and I need to be cautious. But I'll see what I can do. these operations is quite impressive. No effort, no resources have been spared. As these pictures start coming in, it looks more and more like the plane might have really gone down. If there was a crash, sources close to the investigation say the probable location will make it difficult to recover the gold. The plane still has not been found, but if it went down where it was last spotted, the government may be forced to give it up for loss. Not enough. Chang. You're a gambling man. Unchain our boat, we'll pay you double. When? Soon as we find Tony. No, before Chinese New Year, and you pay me four times as you owe me. Three. A friend of mine picked something up. Look, it hasn't been checked out, but someone saw a plane flying low. Where? 
I can't tell you that. Have a great trip. Oh, and uh, by the way, I hear the lighthouse there is worth visiting. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? Would you know where Mr. Chang is? No, I haven't seen him today. I have a package for him from... Or I believe it's urgent. Sure, no problem. I have it right here. Let's go. You're going after Tony, aren't you?
girls on that ship. The Ariella. Boy, was I lucky to hit my lighthouse here. I think it was the gold plane. How do you know that? It sure as hell wasn't Santa Claus and his reindeers. Did you see what happened to it? Yeah, it crashed. Sink out of sight fast, man. I saw it with my own two eyes. The army don't want the word to get around, so don't say anything. Where exactly did it go down? Right out there. And I'm telling you, it had a front row seat. I guess those cowboys in the cockpit want to get away with the gold, and boom, splash, gone. Hey, sweetie, what's wrong? One of those cowboys was my boyfriend. And just so you know, he would never do that. Okay, listen, I've been saying way too much already. The military came in here. Some guy stood right there and ordered me to keep my mouth shut. They're worried about this place becoming a zoo or something with treasure hunters coming from all over the world. But I don't understand. I mean, why hasn't there been any recovery efforts? There's nobody out there. I don't know. I think the ocean is too deep out there or something. Well, do you have any depth charts? You want to see depth charts? Why don't you just go check out the library? not the lending kind of library. Oh, can I make copies? I guess I have to make an exception. I've been looking for you. Me? You're Amy Sanchez, aren't you? Yeah. My name is Benny Simpson. I'm a freelance writer for Globetrotter magazine. And this is my wife, Claire. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can we join you? Yeah, sure. We saw you on TV and went to the Cebu Marina. And a rather plum Chinese gentleman told us that you're here in San Vicente. I think your story is fantastic. I'd like to cover it for Globetrotter. It's awful what happened to your boyfriend, but what you're doing for him now, it's great. Benny thinks the whole world should know about it. Would you have an expense account? <laughs> so, welcome Thank aboard. You. With you. So, what brought you guys to Cebu in the first place? Well, we came here four years ago for the diving, and since then we just haven't been able to stay away. I guess we're not designed for these European winters. What do you write about? Well, there was a cover story we did last March about Palawan. Palawan, yeah. And you know what? I think this story could make it to the cover as well. Cheers. Confirm report. The plane vanished somewhere over the northern tip of Leyte. Leyte? <laughs> They're wrong. The plane is here. We spoke to an eyewitness. Not the crazy lighthouse lady. She's not your only source, is she? I believe her. Listen, you don't have to join us. It's okay. We said we would, so you can come with us. I'm gonna go to bed, darling. Good night.
Parachute! Son of a gun. I knew it. You can't be here. I suggest you go home. What, are you threatening us? Just a little friendly advice. Oh, will you shove your friendly advice up your ass? Because the last time I checked, this was a free country. And we have a member of the international press with us. So we don't want to be giving them the wrong impression of our country now, do we? Let's go. Well, they'll probably be interested to know that we found a parachute. Just a couple hundred yards from the lighthouse. Have a nice day. Just under the water? Yeah, where the current could pull it. Did you ever get the tide tables? Yes, and the current that afternoon was from the south. It probably carried the plane over this way. But it's over 2,000 meters deep there. I mean, the Navy has, like, deep-sea robots, but what about us? Oh, well, we got an R2-D2 and a C-3PO downstairs. Piece of cake. Weather update. So, what's the plan? Girls. Who's hungry? So here's some baby making music just for you guys. Are you all right? He's right. I've really got nothing for you to write about. But we can leave tomorrow so we can get you guys back to Cebu. Nice to see you again. Now you can make copies. I've got the machine fixed just for you, in case you came back. Well, didn't you say I would? It doesn't matter you've never came back. Those depth charts are all wrong. Wrong? Can I call you later?
Thanks, Jose. You're the best. Get this. During the war in the middle of Japanese occupation, a military ship sank here. So they altered the charts for the Japanese to make it look impossible to recover the vessel and the stuff that was on it. Wow. That's what I call a story. Now, how do you know all this? The library guy. His grandfather was mayor at the time. And they never revised the charts. Wow, this thing looks really ancient. Yeah, our depth gauge just goes down to 100. And we can't search the bottom without better equipment. It's 80 over there. But right here underneath us, it's about 40 or 50 meters. How's that for a story, Benny? So you can help us get sonar? I got everything you need right in here. You know the locals call me Nagavik because I can fix anything. I might be able to put something together for you guys, but it ain't gonna be cheap. Don't worry, we have a sponsor now. Who, the people on your boat? Yeah, they're gonna feature us in their Globe Trotter magazine. What? Yeah. Okay, you get me broadcast rights, and you're gonna think the price tag on this is beautiful. Deal. <laughs> as old as your boat. True. Besides, how long did it take you guys to get here from Cebu? <sighs> Only a couple of days. Your parents still live there? Do you see them often? No. Not, not exactly, no. Are you guys even close? You know, I'd, um, I'd rather we didn't talk about that. Let's just, um, let's just get this stuff loaded, okay? <sighs> We've got everything you need right here. Anything wrong with Jess? I asked her something about your parents, and after that, she just hasn't been the same. What's the story? Papa died when we were little. This was his boat. We grew up on the Ariella. His big dream was to catalog all the marine life in the Philippines Hi, Daddy. so the whole world could see the beauty of the oceans. Hi, girls. I'm gonna get him the water. He spent most of his money on underwater photography equipment. And for almost two years, our home was this boat. Did you spot the snake? Aggressive, huh? Oh, one of the biggest I've ever seen. He said if we take things for granted, we do not learn to appreciate. He taught us if we do not preserve. Daddy, here's the All that can disappear, be lost forever. I'll get it. Do you have enough air? Never mind. I thought I would know how to appreciate. And when we lost him, we knew that we learned nothing. Daddy! He gave me his love of the sea, but Jess went the other way. She's scared to go in it. Let's go, baby. Which means, if you come across a metal object, you're gonna get a beat. And look, I set the level so it would only react to something huge, like a plane. Watch this. Wow. You're in business now, baby. Thanks. No problem. Wait, what about my money? Uh, can I give you a check? You know, our clients have gone into town, and as soon as they get back, how about, we'll be able to... How about I just come back later?
that? I have no idea. Let's face it, it's a needle in the haystack. At least we tried. I think Benny's right, Amy. The task's enormous. The plane could have broken into pieces. It'd probably never get found. I don't want to give up now. It's got to be down there. So what are you suggesting? Start the search all over again? No, listen. The last radio contact was here, right? And here, the lighthouse. Yeah, but come on. We've been over this how many times already? Exactly. Let's go back over this. This part right here. We, we covered Please. this already. It has to be around here. I know it. Understand, we've got to make a living. It's been what almost three weeks, we've got nothing. Just give me one more day, just one. Why are you so willing to give up? You don't care about Tony? Well, of course, I care about Tony. It's you I'm worried about. Well, Tony's all that matters to me. Don't you know that by now? God, Amy, wake up. Tony's dead, and we need to move on with our lives. What's the plan now? Well, we can't stay here forever. Give me this. It's that German boat again. They've been following us for two days now. Thing is, I can't just put together another unit. I don't have spare parts just lying around here. Sonar, transmitter. I have to order those from Hong Kong. Well, how long will that take? At least three to four weeks. <gasps> hey, what is that in the picture? A scooter? Long story. Do you still have it? Voila. Somebody's having fun. Mm -hmm. Take a look. I think we've got to do something.
chambre à l'hôtel. They're not going to find out anything. Pass it. They don't pass it. Hold on. Don't worry. I see you at Christmas. My mom. I almost forgot her birthday. checking around and I got some information for you. Thank you. Yeah, I think you're okay. He's had a bunch of stuff published already. Okay, so he's for real. He's been all over the world. He's been to Hawaii, the Galapagos Island, New Guinea. Where the hell is that? New Guinea. It's near Borneo. Oh. Well, anyways, he has a juicy article about it in the latest issue. Really? Yeah, he almost got kidnapped by cannibals there. What? Really? Just hit the newsstands today. Okay, thanks. Just another day in paradise. Now you have a dive book, but you don't dive. How does that work? Well, I still get to do all the fun stuff. Which will be? <laughs> Accounting. <laughs> but you know, I'd love to have your job. I mean, you're so lucky you get to travel all over the world and meet fascinating people. Well, you know. You know where I've always wanted to go? New Guinea. Have you been? Yes, I have. Huh. What are the people like? Just wonderful. Hey, Lulu, look, there's something up with this guy, okay? He just told me that people are nice in New Guinea. There's a picture of Minnie Simpson on their website. But I can't get online. I'm in the middle of the ocean with some guy I don't even know. Where's Amy? Um, we found the plane, Lulu. She's down there right now with his wife. And I'm missing out on all of this? Oh, look, can't you just tell me what he looks like? I don't know, he's about 30, he has hair, he has nose. I mean, he looks like anybody. I don't know what else to say. Well, there's gotta be some way that you can get me that picture. Wait, have you been receiving my weather faxes? Yes.
just answer it.
Just keeping an eye on you girls. You got John McFadden killed. Anything else, Sherlock? It doesn't make sense to me. I don't like this. Why don't you guys go over, check it out, and put those on? Not you. White boy in the Philippine Coast Guard, that's gonna fly. You go upstairs and check on the girls, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? So the plane didn't blow up? The gold is still down there? Yeah, it's still there. Here's the gold. It's fake. Somebody's coming! Shit, they'll be on board in a few seconds. We're gonna hide! Down oh, there. Don't trust them. Bye, boy. Good afternoon. Hello, how are you? Hello? This is a restricted area. Sorry, we didn't know. We'll go immediately. Very good, sir. Step back, sir. Roger that. You better come get me. Shit. I'm going with you. God, what have you done? Downstairs, make it messy.
away. They found the fake gold, which means they could have blown everything. It had to be done. You know it. I know it. Hi, girls. You're crazy. I never agreed to something like this. Where's your partner? The blonde. I'll give you another 15, then we're out of here. What are you gonna do with them? Ignacio, I think you need a drink. Why don't you leave him to me? Say the word in your goulash. Relax, Ignacio. Relax. How can I relax? This whole thing should have been a clean operation. Then you start killing tourists and taking hostages. I'm telling you, this that thing is a major screw-up. Trust me. Tomorrow you're not going to worry about any of this. You know what? Seems like we got it all figured out. You think so? Is everything all right or not? Yeah, 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 it's all right. What do you think you're doing? All in a day's work. You're not gonna tell me where the matches are. Fuck you! You gotta be kidding me. You deep sick my sonar unit? 
She's living the past, all right? Tony is gone. What the hell? Are you stupid or what? Didn't you see me looking for a lighter? You said matches. to those who wait.
Miss Angeles.